Lockdown life makes it easy to put your health and beauty on hold, but with Reverse Life Marine Collagen, you don't have to do that. Give your body a daily simple boost to fight the signs of aging. We're back, but this time they've given us the camera. Not sure that's a good move. You know, it feels so good when I'm next to you. I like it when you're natural with me, baby. Brekkie, brekkie, brekkie. I know it's a simple breakfast today. Simple things, shreddies, and what are these ones? Mini shredded wheat. Oh, I love shredded wheat. Sugar wheat. Sugar wheat? No, shredded wheat. Oh, shredded wheat. You need a haircut, little man. Yeah, I know I do. What about just what I about need Thea? A haircut. I need what a haircut. about Thea? <laughs> Theo, no kicking off, sister. I want you to give each other a cuddle and say I love you. One, two, three. Cuddle love, 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 and we're done. Right, back to my coffee. Oh, they're still going. This is one long, uncomfortable hug. Ah, right. He wants you to wipe his bum. Right. Um, that's Theo, by the way. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm probably more excited than anyone else uh, here, but I'm getting a new hot tub delivered. I'm really, really excited. Here it goes! Morning. Come on! And the colour is it's platinum and brush grey. This hot tub is gonna look amazing. Like, I can't oh, wait. You know, I always go in the hot tub. She, you've never been, have you ever been in a hot tub? No. It's because I, it gives me, um, like, skin condition. Yeah. It gives me an eczema, the chlorine. Right, That's but you why. know what, I live. Before you just say it's because I'm boring. You're not boring. Sorry, what were you saying about my arms? <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying about my arms? Oh, that is actually bigger. Is it? Yeah, defo. Oh yeah, they're probably like. What about this? I'm gonna have to put it down and then you know how it works. Oh my god, is that bigger? No, because the trees are on the road. We might have to go through there. Don't harm my roses. Yep. Listen, I know this is quite ironic, but I'm actually bricking it. I am. Thank you. Do you know what? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Be quick. I'm just, uh, just, I'll deal with the aftermath. The police gotta go. She's gonna come out. Yeah, right. She makes me itchy, so I'll leave him to the hot tub thing with the kids. It's like their little special thing they do. Go, 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 go. Oh, mate! What happened? He's fantastic! <laughs> Oh my god. This guy's fine. Shh, don't say that. Emily was going mad. This guy's fine. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. Are you suffering from erectile dysfunction? Right, what would you like, mate? Let's give it a pull if you could. I'd say that's all me, that. I'm not going to lie, at about 2011, maybe 2010, yep. it became a party tub. Life couldn't be any more different. I mean, it is just a family. The kids are obsessed with it. They love it. I go in after training. That's what I use it for. Em, so I'm gonna call Ryan. Oh. I just wanna to talk to him about the old days, but nothing to worry about. It's just Why about about the hot tub days, like how, it, how we've evolved. What, like 40 years ago? Oh. Yo. Oh man, look at you, man. Doing, man? Always smiling. Yo, you gotta smile. If you gotta smile, what are you supposed to do, man? <laughs> Listen, I miss you, mate. I really do. How long's it been? Three months since I've seen you? It's been a while, but it's been a long time. The hot tub that I had first 
Compared to the hot tub I've got now, our lives have changed completely. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> if you think about those first days when I had that hot tub, they were just, it was a party tub, like a proper party tub for me. Now, if you bring anyone in the hot tub, you have to exercise social distancing. It's a different oh, experience. Yeah. Since the first time I had that hot tub, I've got two more kids. Yep. Two more kids. So Ryan's one of my best mates. Uh, I've known Ryan for 25 years now. We've danced together. He's actually in the Mysterious Girl video. So there's three of us in the Mysterious Girl video. Me, Bubbler Ranks, who's doing the rap, and then you've got Ryan Jackson. So if you go and Google it, you'll see him. He's got the eight pack. He's always been a, a shoulder to lean on. He's one of those friends that'll do anything for you. Nothing's too much. Um, and that's why I, I love him, you know, and uh, and we'll always be friends forever. Obviously, this lockdown has been a great experience in the, in the sense that we've, you know, all had our families around. We've all gotten so close with our families, but I miss my friends. Little Theo is very lucky. He's got a new Kid Connects. Oh! <gasps> it's eyes. Can I give it a go? What? One of the ideas I think that Theo makes you, but <laughs> I'm just saying that the age range is three to five, so you can try, but yeah, this will be easy. We're aiming to make this one. They underestimate me. They absolutely yeah. underestimate me. Not bad. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's really good. Thanks. You made that, didn't you, Theo? How are you getting on? Really good. I'm having to use different eyes, sideways eyes. <laughs> well, I can't use the other ones. The, the 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 ones right, are supposed darling. to be supposed to be facing that way, but I have to do them that way. Well, look, this is what his eyes are supposed to be like, but because no, I think you've done it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's because I can't use the other eyes. <laughs> I, can't, I can't use those because. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> oh dear. Look, it's close. It's close enough. <laughs> oh, that's really tickled me, and I don't know why. <laughs> Theo, um, he's just not very well. Oh, but, oh his mouth's going funny too. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's not even... I couldn't use these. Theo, you... Oh, no, look! Oh, he's finished, mate. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> right, I'm calling AD. Oh. oh. <laughs> I had one job. One job. We're gonna make a pizza. You wanna you wanna have a pizza the action? Come on! Food's a really, really big part of our lives. Growing up in a, a Cypriot family, we're feeders. We don't look at people and go, oh, you're eating too much. We look at people and go, why are you not eating? What's wrong with you? You know? That's still a pizza, baby. <laughs> you know? Because So we're gonna make a veggie pizza today. You can put whatever cheeses you want, but try and add mozzarella too, so it gives you that stretch. It's going to be amazing. Mushroom? Yeah, pizza? I don't have mushroom for them. My girl! Got enough cheese? Yeah, but I like it being cheesy, man. Just like my jokes. <laughs> Millie, are you serious? <laughs> oh, now watch it on slow mo. Whoa! <laughs> I just wondered um, if I could borrow you for a manly job. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What would you like? <laughs> Uh, well, it involves digging. Mommy, I 
in the garden. I'm wearing tracky because it was all warm and now Can it's Can I just cold. say, if we have another baby, we're going to have an issue here, aren't we? Good, but we're gonna run out. We've got no more jelly beans. Start a new line. How many more kids do you think we're gonna have? Not that many. Hey Theo, should we go outside and dig a? Should we go outside and dig a tree? Mum wants a manly job done, son. You in? Theo, do you know why these never need to go to the doctor? Because they're always welly. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Boots! <laughs> yeah, because... Oh, the road, they can go for a walk. No, because her, her parents were not Are you just going to stand on the driveway? Well, no, because her you parents were not You can go for a walk on the road, yeah. around. I but there's going to be, like, I me and Savannah, and then Dylan, oh, and then... Oh, really? And, and then... Oh. And then his yeah. friend. But you know you've got to be two metres apart yes. from each other. Okay, where, where can we meet? Where can we Are go? Are you having heart failure right oh, now? Of course I'm having heart failure. Where can failure. we go? Where no, not look, that we're going to we do won't. anything. You better not but... do anything, because let me tell you, two metres social distance means yeah. to... Exactly. And you know what? Actually, this two metres social distance thing should really... Playing right into your I hands, I think it's playing it? into my hands, and I think you need oh, to do this for the rest of your life. I'm telling you I'm meeting. Hold on, darling. Daddy's just walking, looking manly with a spade. About two years ago, me and my dad and Pete did help as well. We hired a digger and we basically dug up this whole area at the front. Then we put these lovely big balls in. Sorry? What's yeah, that? stop it. Talking about me and again. we put this lovely hedge in, right? And we were really Sorry, excited. About me again. And then this one has died. And I looked it up online and apparently it's got a fungus. Stand back, everyone. Don't touch anything else once you've touched it. Oh, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. I'm just. I would probably just put the spade in underneath. And yeah, just... I think so. I think so. Cause just to do it neatly. This is a very man. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah I could have pulled this out with my hands. The main thing is that we've got to make sure that things are done correctly and things are not done messy. That, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Theo, look at that big old worm! Oh, let's get him out before we put it in the bin. Look at him! Oh, do you want to hold that one? He could be with his friend. There we go, look, you've got a mummy and a baby. Mm. Mum! So Try love and worm the... your way out of that one. Mm. Yeah, you're looking so manly. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and get this done. <laughs> How manly do you feel out of 10 right now? Oh, mate, I feel proper Zoolander. Stand back. And take all that soil with it. Mm. So we actually love being in the garden, don't we? Because it's a bit bonding. Yeah, I do like the garden, actually. I'm we didn't very... used to, did we, before we moved here? No, I think, like, your dad and your mum, you know, they love the gardens and it was something that probably I noticed that you guys were doing a lot and I was like, oh actually, it's this fun. My dad planted all these trees in my cypress home 15 years ago or so when we built it. And he said to me, one day you'll appreciate, you'll see them all grow and they'll be beautiful. And I was a bit like, yeah, that's kind of dad's thing, you know. And now when I go to Cyprus, one of the things I want to do every day is walk around and, you know, pick all the fruits off the trees and it's really nice. Are you helping Dad? Just uh, just checking. Oh, Theo, Theo, don't do that! Don't do that! Just checking everything's all right. Oh, mate, listen, I could do that all day long, every day. Just hopefully not tomorrow. So I can just turn the temp, that's the good thing is I can do the temperature from my phone. So you can turn the lights on from here. Oh yeah, I've just done it on my phone, come on. It's bizarre that a name like this in the 1930s or the 1920s would have literally been an outlaw, Jack Uzi. You know what I mean? It would have been a guy with a gun. <laughs> just forget it. I'm so sorry mate. Ems, where are you? Hi, I'm just going through his drawers. 
Oh. I've just been thinking about um, the kids. Yeah. And move, everyone moving rooms and I've got to go start going through his stuff. So would this become like a spare room? Well, I don't really want to. I don't really want to turn it into a spare room at the moment because if we ever do have another baby, then we'll. It's I'm not saying that we're going to, but. Because yeah, we're but thinking about we're it. also not saying that we're not going to. No, and then it wouldn't make any sense to like... Do you reckon we should like one more? We always um and are about this, but we've got to talk about it at some point. And what better to talk about it than on camera? Yeah, I think more worse than talking yeah, Can we not go into this again? Okay? <laughs> no, Theo's at the age now. Honestly, that is just... He's... Well, I think it's because he will go to school right here a year in September. And then I think... That, if, if we were ever going to do it, that would probably be a good time. But that does give us like a year and a bit to think about it. And I don't want to be selfish, but I always said I don't want to be changing nappies at 50. And I'm I'm 47, well, I'll be 48 I'm in February. I'm just going to say, who changes most of the nappies? No. Mm -hmm. No, that is not true. It is so true. That is not true. When I know you're... you're around at the moment, but normally you're never here. Okay, normally I'm not around as much as you, but when I'm here, I'm always hands-on. I've changed five sets of nappies if it's gonna happen, it's gotta happen within the next year. Because I'll be I'll be forty eight in February. I agree with you within the next like, year. If we do within the next year. Tonight. And what I mean is like now, as in the next couple of months. You know, Emily has different views to me. You know, she's in her thirties now. She's like, yeah, another couple of kids, why not? I'm forty seven, I feel fantastic, but the thought of me being in my seventies and my children being very young then I've got to think, yeah, but it's not just about me. And she has to do a lot of the work and she has to grow the child. You know, so I don't want to be selfish about it. It's been really nice the last sort of three, four years really since Theo's been born um, that I have been able to focus a bit on my work and trying to like move to the next step in my career. So that's been really good. Um, but I think like lots of couples, the time kind of comes where you do think about it and we're sort of at that stage, but we haven't talked about this stuff at all before. So it's a bit of a big step makes it a bit more real i think this conversation is to be continued watch the space we will see